In this video, I'm going to show you a really good cover two bomb that's going to absolutely bomb cover two as well as cover three in this year's game. And uh, we're going to be talking about the bunch tied in. The bunch tied in is back. I do believe bunch tied in is one of the best offenses in this game. If you're watching this video and you want to get my full bunch tied in offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. The link to sign up for Patreon is in the description of the video. Um, I believe that Bunch Tight End has a lot of tools in this formation that you might not have or you may have overlooked, especially with the meta and where we're going in the game. Um, this formation is really, really good, especially if you can get some time. I find that using two edge protectors with this, which you can get uh, two edge protectors at this point in Madden for one AP, makes this offense really, really difficult to stop. Now, the play we're going to be going over today is PA All Cross. It's also known as PA Boot Over and other. Uh, playbooks, um, and we're going to show you how to bomb cover two and cover three. Uh, so, like I said, this is a great cover two and cover three beater. Um, and again, if you want to get the full ebook, make sure you're in the Patreon. The link's in the description if you want to check it out. But what makes this so good is this deep post route um, over here on the right side. And like I said, if you can get time, this is a really, really good bomb. Uh, so what we want to do is we just want to simply streak Chris Godwin, and then from there, we can do a couple, whatever really we want with Otten um, over here on the right. We can put the running back on a wheel. We could also put Otten on a deep out route. And what you're going to see is a lot of times this, uh, as soon as that post cuts inside, you see it cooks the cover two right up the seam for an absolute laser. Now, this is also really, 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 really good if you have a tight end apprentice and you could put a corner route over here on the right side. You'll see here, um, this actually was man coverage. Sometimes this post can actually beat man if you have a route running ability on it. Obviously, you could just ag them. Uh, I want to say real quick to guys that watch my videos, make sure you're using the highball mechanic like as much as possible. I would really recommend highballing almost everything in this game. Um, I do think it's the most consistent way to pass. And if you ever are in trouble, you can just ag the crap out of your opponent. But anyway, you're going to see right here, just basically up top, boom, over the top for uh, an absolute laser. Now, you might have to throw it a little bit different against cover two sometimes than you would against cover three. Uh, we'll get to cover three in just a second. But all in all, this is a really, really good play. Now, you can um, put a slant from this uh, middle bunch receiver. And you can smart route this post to make it a little shallower so that it breaks a little quicker. So you see here, just get it right up over the top. I got to highball that right there. But you see how it's breaking over the middle. Now, uh, we're going to go over cover three. Cover three is more likely what you're going to see uh, from a lot of people. And what you'll see with this play against cover three is this outside third on the right will basically get pulled by the tight end route. And then you can highball this into that little alley just like that. And as you see, the cover three is cooked over the top. This is going to force your opponent into a couple of different coverages. They're either going to be in man coverage, which I would argue against anybody that this formation has the best man beating routes in the game. Um, this, What I love about bunch tight end is it combines the best of bunch, trips tight end, and tight all into one formation. And it, and you see that in, in plays like Pave It Over. This formation can absolutely destroy... Uh, can absolutely destroy man-to-man, -man, okay? So you're not going to have too big of a worry about man-to-man. -man. Uh, and then, like I said, then from there, it's just breaking down blitzes and breaking down zone coverage. So as you see, there's that free form. And I don't know why that mid-read is being so, um, being so good. Uh, but the mid-read, what you can also do to get the mid-read to kind of come down is you could do a route combination like this by using the slant route. A lot of times this mid-read won't match as well. And again, most of the time your opponent is going to be using the mid-read anyway. So you'll see here, he sucks down to the slant. And there you see the window that I was trying to show you before. Where we're able to hit this over the top. Now, cover two can be beat in multiple ways. Okay, This is not the only way that you need to be able uh, or that you can attack cover two in this game. You can do something. What I love about bunch tight end is you can do something as simple as an outside fade. And now we're basically in a trips tight end route combination. Again, like I said, it combines the best of trips and bunch into one formation. So as you see right here, you know, I could throw that free form to the outside and try to attack man that way. There's other things we can do with this, um, kind of similar to trips tight end, where we could do a motion like this over to over the middle. And you see so much versatility. So now you have this angled corner route. Um, and then you can do whatever you want on this on this backside of the play. But you'll see now this angled post really can get into a soft spot 
you know, against cover two. And then, of course, you have your tight end streak. So there's a lot of versatility in this play. Like I said, it has the best uh, it has the best cover four beater in the game. This little slant route or, like, little uh, drag route to Julio Jones is one of the better man-beating crossing routes in the game. Um, it's a similar route to what you see in gun tight uh, out of the play PA cross. This is very similar to that. So you could even do a route combination like this. And, I, I, you know, a lot of times you're going to be in a pretty good spot against cover two, cover three, just because of the way the outside thirds need to come down to handle crossers this year. You see they take that one false step, and that's too late. And a lot of times that could be six points for your offense. Guys, the bunch tight end is loaded this year. I think it was actually very overlooked in the beginning of the year. And especially as the meta has began shifting to a more offensive-focused game, we're seeing the ability to pick up blitzes at a higher clip. We're seeing the ability to handle edge threats and double or nothings just by simply using edge protector. With those two big factors at play, it brings this offense, I think, to the forefront as probably one of the better offenses in the game. So if you want to learn the entire bunch tight end offensive ebook, make sure you join my patreon the link to sign up for that is in the description of this video and look forward to talk with you guys more about bunch tight end i i really like this offense i've had a lot of fun running this over the last week and uh, or last couple of weeks uh kind of preparing to release the ebook for you guys now i think i've really found some unique stuff in bunch tight end that i think a lot of people overlook so uh it definitely has uh the ability to bomb every coverage in the game it'll handle the man meta really really well will teach you pass protection keys and like i said i do believe it does have some of the best man beating routes in the game um and some of the best alignment as well for handling man to man which will teach you all that in the ebook so if you want to learn that make sure you join our patreon again ten dollars gets you access to everything it's a great time to join the patreon right now this is going to make our 16th ebook of the madden 23 season and we're dropping a brand new defense that i'm really excited about tomorrow in the nickel triple as the bear front is kind of coming back to the forefront of, as one of the better fronts in the game and we'll be teaching you a lot out of how to uh, use the nickel triple to generate pretty significant pressure so anyways if you want to check all that stuff out patreon members get access to everything like i said we this is our 16th ebook we're dropping our 17th one tomorrow and we have broken down a ton of stuff we've updated stuff i dropped a 45 minute update for our big nickel over g ebook the other day so make sure you're in the patreon i think it's a great value for you 10 bucks get you access to everything if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description of the video and you can click the link down below.